In this lesson, we'll cover how to create animations in V-Ray. First, you'll notice with the file here that we have two scenes. So if I click on Animation View 1 and then Animation View 2, you can see us animating between the two scenes. In SketchUp, whenever you have two scenes or more, you can create an animation. And if you go to your Window menu option and open up your Model Info window, you'll see the animation settings to the left. With the animation settings, we see here that we have a transition time from one scene to the next of two seconds by default. One second of the animation is equal to 30 frames in V-Ray's eyes, and so two seconds will be 60 frames. We'll go ahead and set this to four seconds so that the animation takes a little bit longer, and that will total 120 frames in V-Ray that need to be rendered. Also by default, there's a scene delay of one second. That would be if we had multiple scenes at every stop, it would stop for this number of seconds. It doesn't matter a whole lot here, but we're going to set it down to zero for this example. Then go ahead and close this down. You'll notice now that the animation moves much slower when you preview it here in SketchUp. Now for V-Ray to render this animation, we need to set up a few things. Open the V-Ray Asset Editor, and in the Settings tab, you'll notice that we have Bucket Mode as Interactive and Progressive or Switched Off. Let's go to the render output. Of course, you can set the resolution of your final animation, but down here there's an animation tab. Go ahead and click on that and click to turn it on. Once you've turned that on, you have a couple of options here where it says time segment, flip this menu down. It'll default usually to entire animation. And in this case, we know that the entire animation will be from the beginning to the end. So 120 frames total that need to be rendered. If you flip this down and pick frame range, you see that you have a start and end frame. So you could decide a certain range that you wanted to render. Now, if you didn't already know about how many total frames you were gonna render, you can click on get animation range here and it'll pull that 120 frames for you. And now, of course, you could decide where to start and where to end. But for this example, we'll flip this back down to entire animation. Now to make sure you save this animation to the right place, under Save Image here, first go ahead and click that on, and then twirl this down, and you see that you can specify a file destination. So I could name this Chair Animation. Now the last thing, because we'll be rendering 120 frames, we'll want to slide this quality slider down to low so that it renders a little bit faster, and then go ahead and click Render. Once the rendering of your animation completes, go ahead and preview it by opening the image sequence in a player like Photoshop. 